hello traders uh, hello traders uh, today is the 31st of january uh, 2013 and the time in london is 13 uh, 54 p.m in new york or 8 uh, 54 a.m happy trading to you all uh, this video is about a next step a trading a strategy next step a trading strategy it is uh, the next step in the ladder of a step by step trading strategy all right we will show traders a specific okay a trading tactics uh, that they can adopt if the music has changed so to speak at the end of uh, this video one will be able to understand how the professional traders are trading uh, okay let's get started okay so uh, last week okay I posted a video on our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com for slide your trio. And the video that I'm talking about is this one here. Okay. Step by step trading strategy. All right. So this video is about the next step trading strategy. So we see the step by step trading strategy. Okay. We want to continue. And uh, this is the next step. Okay. That we want to take in the, in the ladder of a step by step uh, trading strategy, if you understand. Okay. So in the previous video, I was telling traders that uh, on Monday, beginning of each week, beginning of a new week, we will go to the weekly chart, we we'll draw the high on the weekly chart, the low on the weekly chart, and the media line on the weekly chart. Then we'll go to the daily chart, we will draw the high of last Friday, okay, the low of last Friday, and also the media line of last Friday. This is about a step-by-step -step trading strategy. In this video, we will discuss the next step of trading strategy very very important we want to understand how professional are trading as i spoke to you before okay ordinary traders are trading indicators professional are trading around key levels all right so we want to know how professional are trading okay very important all right this video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It is primarily for the TSTW uh, traders. So the next step, so we have uh, the high, the low, the media line for last week and uh, last Friday ready. So you know my levels. The blue line here is the high of last week. I'm looking at the Euro USD. So I'm, though I'm using the currency here, this strategy is valid for S&P 500, for crude oil, for gold, for any financial instrument. So the high of last week is the blue one here, where my cursor is. The blue one here also is the low of last week. The media line is the pink line. Those who are following and know that these colors codes okay and we'll draw the high of last week uh, the, la the high of last friday the high of last friday was equal to the high of okay last week so it's exactly the same line that's the high of last friday the mid the, the low of last friday is the turquoise line which is below the pink line can you see it the line below the pink the pink line is the turquoise line okay that's the low of last friday the media line of last friday is the red line here okay in case you are new to us Okay, you may know the, what's happening here. So the next step. So the price break above, okay, <laughs> uh, the high of last week. This is what's happening here. What do we need to do now? Okay, what do we need to do? That's the next step, okay? So what we will do, traders that are more experienced, we already know it. We will project the range of last week. So the range of last week is from here to here. So what I'm going to do, pay attention carefully, okay? If you do not understand anything, you can replay the video, okay? YouTube will not stop you to replay the video. Replay it. You want to understand? Replay it, okay? It's your right to replay it, okay? So here, from here to here, that's the range of last week. So all I did, okay, I want to show something to trade carefully here. Let me do it again. You see that I start drawing the range from here because those who are using TC2000, you may see sometimes you want to draw it from here it may move your line so i start drawing it from the low from below the line where i want to draw it then i move it okay there so i don't move my blue line okay i know some traders are using exactly the same software like myself <laughs> all right so that's why i'm doing this so we want to project the range of last week to the upper side because the price break above the high of last week pay attention if the price, for instance, was going down and go, uh, the price went below the low of last week, 
instead of projecting the rain to the upper side, we will project it okay to the downside here. All right. So if, for instance, a new week has begun and the price okay instead of going above the high of last week, is going okay. <laughs> All right. Below okay the low of last week. Okay, during the week, because the week is not closed yet, we we'll project the range to the lower part. Okay, but this in, for the Euro USD, it went above it, so we will project the range of last week, which I measure now. You see how I did it, and I project it to the upper, upper side. And I'm going to draw a line there. I'm going to be choosing a different color now. I hope. Uh, okay, let me choose a very interesting color. It's coming up. Okay, my projection I put in green. Okay, this is my projection for last week range. Okay, what I will do, I will also draw the media line of my new channel. This is my new channel. This is the projection of last week. All right. So all we are doing, we are projecting what we have already done because the price has violated the range of last week. So what's happening now? So we will project it. Okay, the range of last week, and also draw the middle line. Which uh, I'm going to color now. Let's see if I find another interesting color that we can show on your screen. Orange. Put in orange. That's the the, the that's the media line of my projection of last week. So the current okay media line of the previous week is the pink one here. My projection is uh, bring me to the green line here, and uh, my uh, the projection of my pink line is the orange line. All right. So if you have studied math at school, you're wondering why you have studied this projection before. This one of them you can use now in practical, okay, trading. All right, so we can project it right here. The next thing that we will do, I hope you are following me. If you have any question, those who are TST traders, contact me and we can talk privately. All right, but the next thing that we will do, we'll do exactly the same thing for the range of last Friday. That would be, it's going to be tricky for me because I don't want to move my lines. I need to be very, very careful. So this is the high of last Friday. The low of last Friday is the Chiquas line. Can you see on your chart? Okay. That's the low of last Friday. That's the high of last week of Friday. As the price goes above the high of last Friday, we will project the range of last Friday to the upper side, which is bringing us exactly because uh, you can see here. Okay, we will project it also to the upper side. Okay, and we will draw a line there and also draw the media line of, uh, okay, the pro the new projection of, uh, okay. The new projection of uh, okay the range of last Friday. We will also draw the media line of our new projection, which is roughly. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about zone. These are not uh, exact level. We are talking about uh, okay roughly. But we know how to calculate the exact level. The high minus the low divided by two plus the low. That's the media line. Okay, all right. So I'm going to call a. Um, let's see whether yellow will show on my screen clearly. Can you see it? If it doesn't show, put a comment below my video so I can choose my color carefully. I have too many lines now. So I know that the orange line is the, the media line of my projection of last week range. I know that the, or, the yellow line is the media line of the projection of uh, uh, last Friday range. So I have a new line here because the week is not yet closed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are learning to trade, yes or no? So ask questions, ask, put constructive comment below. I can reply to them, all right? And uh, we can improve our ability to trade. That's the point of this video. Otherwise, there's no point to continue, all right? By the way, I want to say thanks to traders that are rating our video, excellent rating here five steps to avoid trading mistake so which means you like it so i may try to see what we can do more about that okay if you don't like it then i feel say okay we don't have to discuss that anymore so you see the projection that i've done now i'm ready to trade because you see beginning of monday okay beginning of the week monday we draw the high of last week the low of last week the median line of last week all right 
And then we draw the high of last Friday, the low of last Friday, and the median line of last Friday. Now, if the price goes above the high of last week, we will project the range of last week to the upper side. If it breaks below the low of last Friday, we will project the range to the downside and also draw a median line for the new channel. If we will do exactly the same thing for the range of last Friday, if the price goes above or goes below, as I did in front of you. If there is something that you do not understand here, you can also, okay, replay the video or move where you can the, your, your, your video to, to go back and replay it. You are allowed to do that. Google, will, uh, YouTube will not stop you. Now, the most important thing I want to say to, to traders here, these are not magic level. We do not just buy, sell at this level. If we receive a valid signal at this level, we are watching it. The price will always move in a channel. If it's going up, you will see in a rising channel. But you want to start from a higher time frame before switching to the lower time frame. The price will move from one support level to a resistance level. Very often, when traders are trading, because they have the indicator on the chart. By the way, when you're about to draw lines like this, remove all your indicator like I did now. We use indicator to remove all your indicators so you can see clearly, okay, the chart itself so you can draw things carefully. Don't leave indicator when you are doing this drawing. Remove them all, okay, and so you can see the chart and draw it. Sometime, let me show you. For instance, if you're on a daily chart, you may not have a room to project it. So if that's the case, you may say, oh, George, I don't have room to draw the projection. Go to the higher time frame, okay? Go to the, you see weekly? You can, with uh, this TC2000, TC I can, uh, okay? I'm, what I'm doing, I'm just, uh, how do you say this? Uh, just moving my cursor up and down, okay? Scroll up and down, and it giving me room. But sometimes if you leave it like this, you say, oh, I don't have room. But you see, I just move my cursor up and down, and I have room. So do this kind of exercise in case you think that you, you, you switch to the weekly chart, it's like this, okay, just, you know, am I explaining this clearly, okay? Move your cursor and uh, to zoom in and zoom out and you will see that there's a room and you can draw lines, okay? Because you want to have, if you leave it like this, you say, oh, where should I put it now? But just play with it, the chart, okay? Know your, your software, how it works, okay, so you do like that. And sometimes you may not see another time frame, go to the higher time frame, <laughs> go to the monthly chart, then you have room, okay? Sometimes if you, if you do like this, you see the monthly chart, if it's stuck like this, you mean that you, you zoom into it, okay, zoom out, okay, zoom out, okay? And then you see you have space to draw the lines. These are a few things. Also, remove your indicators, okay? But as I explained to you, do not see these levels as magic levels. Now I'm ready to trade. Let's see what has happened to this week. I'm going to the crowded time frame, 15 minute chart. I want to see whether I can see some of my line. The yellow line, what? Is the media line of the projection of the last week range. You see? This is today. It's bumping on it. You see? But you want to pay attention to the price. If the price is going up, which I can tell you now, another strategy. If the price is going up, what are we paying attention to? We are paying attention to the high. It's going up, it must give us higher highs. If the price is going down, down, which means we are in a declining channel, what are we paying attention to? We are paying attention to the lows. So the price must give us lower lows, lower lows. If it's not doing that, we know that, okay, there's a weakness in this, uh, okay, bearish progression. If the price is going horizontal, it's moving between two levels. This is where a lot of traders get into trouble. Uh, my uh, intention is to assist traders to understand the price, the markets, other traders, and to understand themselves. That's my job. And uh, as long as I'm doing this, I'm happy, okay? If you purchase a trading tool from us, the trading tool does not trade for traders. All we are doing is to tell you things that what I'm saying here, watch the high when the price is going up, watch the lows when the price is going down and understand the language of the price. Pay attention to the economy news. It's not all about technical. So you see a bullish setup, a news, economy news can mess it up, okay? So you want to know which news is about to be released around 1.30 p.m. London time. <laughs> and also, 
which is exactly 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. There are plenty of economy news. You want to know, go to www.forestfactory.com. Google Finance, Yahoo Finance. Trade like a pro, all right? If you made a mistake, review the trade, all right? So very important. So we, we now I know where I am. This is the media line of my projection of last week of Friday range. So if I was selling here and it's coming there, I will pre be prepared to take some profit or secure my gains because I know there's a, this is the media line. So you understand the next step now? So if, for instance, I didn't do this projection, I won't know that these levels are here. All right? So the projection either to the upper side, if the price break above the previous high, projection to the downside, if the price break below, okay, the previous low, will help us, okay, to identify what I call invisible or hidden support or hidden uh, key levels. We want to trade around key levels. We can apply this strategy, okay, every week. This is about trading idea, part one. Here you see www. Okay, best dash trading dash strategy dot com trading idea part one. There is also trading idea part two, part three, part four. I will be posting on this website, our website here, the trading idea part five, where I will show traders something else that they need to pay attention to. Same thing for TSCW twenty four traders. Same thing for the TSCW as well as zero eight traders. So this is about okay the next step okay trading a strategy the projection of the range that we have done we project it to the upper side now for instance suppose I go to my uh, okay crazy trading chart which I love okay because uh, okay my name is Trio all right so you see here all right so you see here so on a trading chart. Maybe I want to play with the stochastic. I don't want to play with the stochastic or the RSI or the MACD in the void. I want to play with them at key levels by paying attention to the language of the price. Here we can see the price will display high, a high, a high. What's happening now? What's happening now? Okay. Try to try to get into this move to understand the price. But do not do this on one single time frame. Okay. Because you're on a three minute chart, you want to check the high time frame. Don't make a trading decision on a single time frame. So you see a high, a high, a high. Now we don't have a new high. We are, now we are here. What's going on? There's a kind of a turn around here. If the price was going down, we will be paying attention to the lows. Okay? That's what we will do. We want to see lower lows, lower low, lower low, lower lows, so we know that the bearish progression is going up. You want to make a trading decision? Draw your channels. Okay? Rising channel. You want to buy at the base. If, okay, the price, okay. Is still bullish so you understand so with this information my drawing on a weekly chart which i've done the weekly chart i can go for the okay one minute chart where the high frequency traders are busy playing with the stochastic all right can i see can we see uh what's the this is not my yellow line this is from the tc 2000 this one this yellow one here is from my software my drawing is this one this yellow one here don't pay attention to this one so this is my my toy, you see? They take it up, they bring it back, they bring it up, they bring it up. That's what we here. Okay? So I hope you have enjoyed this video also. Okay, as always, rate it. If you don't like it, it's your right. You too give you the right to say, George, I don't like this video. George, I like it. Put constructive comments so we know what you are thinking. Is the sound correct? Is the sound too bad? Is the image correct? let us know so we can keep improving okay if you don't say anything you keep quiet nothing will be done communication okay will help us okay improve all right so thank you for your support and uh, we hope uh, you find this video useful and that you will put into use okay to make uh, excellent uh, trading decisions we are the tstw uh, traders speak to you soon